Hi everyone, let's summarize today's lecture. In today's lecture, you have studied about the frustum of a cone. Let's see what is it. You can observe this right circular cone. When a plane parallel to its base cuts off this right circular cone, then you obtain a smaller cone and the portion obtained from the base. That portion is said to be the frustum of the cone. So this remaining portion of the cone is said as frustum, which you can find in your day-to-day -day life as buckets and various other figures. Now, let's see how you can obtain the surface area and volume of this frustum. So height of this frustum, let's say, is h. The smaller radii is small r, while the larger radii is capital R. And its slant height is given by small l, where small l is equal to square root of h square plus capital R minus small r whole square. When you have obtained this slant height, you can use it to obtain its curve surface area. Where curve surface area of this system is given by the formula, pi into L into capital R plus small r. Next, we have the total surface area of system which can be obtained by adding up the area of two circular bases with the curve surface area. Where it is equal to pi L into capital R plus small r plus pi capital R square plus pi small r square. Next, we have the volume of the frustum, where the volume of the frustum is given by the formula 1 upon 3 by h into capital R square plus small r square plus small r into capital R. So, using all these formulas, you can solve various questions related to surface areas and volumes of frustum. This is all for now. Thank you for watching.